the oldest organ donor ever in the United States history. A man from right here in West Virginia, in fact, in Welch. Lormie Sandin has her story. The Center for Organ Recovery and Education, or CORE, says it recently recovered a liver from the oldest recorded organ donor in U.S. history. The donor was 95-year-old Cecil F. Lockhart of Welch, who died but is still leaving a legacy in this world. He's, he's a, a hero. Yeah, he's a hero. hero. Yeah, for sure. These are Lockhart's granddaughters, Stephanie Lanham and Cindy Petit. He's a hero. You know, there's so many people that need different organs. And, you know, some people just are waiting and waiting and waiting. And unfortunately, some don't make it. Fortunately, Lanham says his liver was successfully transferred to a woman in her 60s, which will help to prolong her life. And it's just amazing to, to me that 95 years old and your liver is still in like that great of condition. Like he was such a healthy man. He wasn't sick. So that's what makes it hard yeah. to lose him because he was in, had a clean bill of health. They say their grandfather never drank or smoked. He was just a loving family man, a business owner, and an all-around great guy. Yeah. He was just such a strong, and he loved his family more than anything. He loved uh, my grandmother, who's still living. Lockhart also loved to tell stories and try new foods. He was kind and giving. Through his passing, he gave his granddaughters inspiration to help others. I didn't realize until now how important it is, honestly, in being an organ donor. I'm not registered that I will be um, due to this. I mean, this is just, uh, you know, when it touches home, it helps to understand what, how important it is. Petit says her grandfather's skin was even donated to a burn center. Because of his donations, she says it still feels like her grandfather is around, and Lanham agrees. And I know he's here with us now, you know, giving us comfort. Absolutely. I know he's in this room with us, you know, um, helping us with this interview and, um, you know, we can just feel him all around. And um, I'm sure he'd be very proud that we're talking about this. For 12 News in Morgantown, I'm Lormie Sanyon.